Aristimo is self-consistent Schrodinger Poisson solver written for simulating basic physical phenomena of one-dimensional semiconductor heterostructures. It was started as a hobby by Sefer Bora Lisa Sivdin from Gaza University, Ankara, Turkey, at the beginning of 2012 and become soon a usable tool. Now it is used as a core tool in an educational and scientific works. For educational purposes, it must have been done in a way so it can be easy to understand. For research, it must have some point of computational correctness and sensitivity. It's written in Python scripting language broadly used by scientific community. It combines easy access to external quality libraries and source code with speedy and accurate simulation, extensibility and community technical support. A very basic only experience with computer programming is needed, if at all, and very basic physics understanding to start manipulating existing samples or even to design new models. Let us start with authors, Huawei, what is their research experience, what they can tell us about ASIMO. Dr. Sifer Bora Lisa Sifdin is professor at Gazi University in Ankara, Turkey. He started the project at around 2011. During that time, Sifer worked also at the University of Ulm in Germany in 2019. My name is Sefer Boric Sifidin. I'm a faculty member of Gaz University, physics department located at Ankara, Turkey. Um, I'm an experimental physicist in the background, and I mostly studied gallium nitride-based hemp structures and uh, um, zinc oxide-based structures uh, for the last nearly 13 years. Uh, in my PhD studies, uh, I was interested in device simulators and simulations, of course, <laughs> and started to use um, Next Nano to just try it. Uh, then I realized the possible bond engineering usage uh, in these gallium nitride based heterostructures. Um, I used these simulators Next Nano and uh, TiberCat uh, in my previous studies uh, in the past. And uh, after being a faculty member, I have started a course titled Physics of Low Dimensional Semiconductors. In this course, I'm giving structural information about Schrodinger Poisson solvers, and so I need a very fundamental simulator that must be um, open source and easy to use, and I couldn't find any. So I started to code a new one with uh, Python. After a year of self-coding, I announced the first version of uh, this new uh, code, uh, which is um, called Estimo, uh, with the help of um, Bitbucket and uh, after GitHub, new friends came from all over the world and uh, they started to help the development of uh, this new code. Robert Steed is from Scotia, Great Britain. Now Robert works at European Mediterranean Seismological Center near Paris in France, which is part of CIA, the largest French nuclear research and development organization. Robert is a great contributor to the ISTIMO program and he is also the author of nice tutorials and documentation available on the main website of our project. Hamza Heber made a very significant contribution to the program, the development process. Hamza works at the Department of Technical Sciences at the University of Mohamed Bodiaf in Algeria. A few words from Hamza himself. My name is Hamza Habbel. I'm from Algeria. I have a PhD in electronics and I'm currently in charge of maintenance services office in Gala Serum Company. I have joined the STMO project in 2013. I am Zbigniew Kozio, 
Now I work at National Center for Nuclear Research, which is a large institution located near Warsaw in Poland. However, my first contact with Estimo took place yet around um, 2011, I think, when I worked at Microelectronics Laboratory at State Technical University in Aro in Russia. After that, I did some contribution to Estimo when working at Nanotechnology Center at Rzeszów University in Poland. During the time in Russia, around 2011, I worked in, on computer modeling of semiconducting devices like light emitting diodes and semiconducting lasers. I needed to have a simple code for solving Schrodinger equation for quantum wells and could not find one on the internet. I noticed very first mention of Estimo and I wrote an email to the author of the web page. After half a year, Cipher replied uh, to my email. Uh, that is an anecdotal recollection of how Estimo started from my point of view. Estimo is written in Python and as such uses existing broad open source libraries like NumPy, Ceton, Matplotlib. Thanks to that, it is easily extensible. The code can be changed, expanded, functionality added. In our modeling, we use custom written ARM modules that are used as input files. The main one is an input script. There, the description of computation is contained and the structure of the physical sample model is described. As another input script, it reads information about physical properties of materials contained in a plain text database, which is a Python script as well. The third input script is a configuration file where, for instance, values of some default computational parameters are stored. The second is easily be changed. The results of computation are written to a set of files in output directory. These are plain text files with white space separated columns of the data. Thanks to that, they are easy to read and can be used in another software for later analysis, like for instance GNUplot. Results are also displayed on the screen. The essence of the problem we deal with is in solving Schrodinger equation for a certain potential of quantum well as defined by the structure we are studying and by properties of materials. In a pure, idealized case, that would not be a huge problem. However, in normal situations, the quantum well itself and the entire structure around is filled by uh, electrons and holes of a priori unknown distribution there. Hence, in the first step we find solution of Schrodinger equation alone. Once that is known, we find out, based on the resulting solution, what is distribution of electrical charges in the entire structure. The distribution, in turn, creates its own electrical potential, which is found by solving Poisson equation. Hence, now we ought to add the resulting potential to the initial quantum well potential, and we must repeat calculations for finding uh, new solutions of Schrodinger equations. That process runs in a loop as long as needed until some self-consistent convergence is reached. We control that either by imposing the maximum number of allowed loops or by setting a limit on energy convergence value. As of today, November 2020, there are already at least 11 research publications in referred journals 
work to some extent, as Simo has been used in their work. Some of Russell publications have as many as 40 citations. Working together in an international team on projects like this one offers an outstanding opportunity for own development, learning the art of language programming, using GitHub, improving skills, dreaming together on solving new challenging problems. We are always looking for new developers uh, to help us. Uh, please visit the Estimo Solver group pages at GitHub uh, for more. Thank you for listening.